Potter, Potter. That excrescence wouldn't even make a substitute on the Slytherin team. You mad, Salazar. Just watch. I'll wager young Mr. Potter and Gryffindor beat Slytherin today. Ha! Gryffindor doesn't stand a chance, Rowena. Honestly, all of you. We are what are all these muggles doing at Hogwarts anyway? I expect this is Dumbledore's doing. Dumbledore, unlike you, Salazar, sees the good in all people, whether or not they possess magic. Besides, I think I detect a future Quidditch player or two amongst our younger visitors. <laughs> they look like a pretty nasty lot to me. Perfect for Slytherin, then. Yes, yes. Well, I'm sure he'll find it, Helga. He always does. Let's just hope it doesn't burn down the armory like last time. Sounds like yet another clear violation of the Warlocks Convention of 1709. But then again, with all these muggles running about, perhaps the dragons, just what we need. What a dreadful thing to say, Salazar. A few muggles might be just what the Slytherin team needs, judging from their most recent efforts. Exactly when was the last time your house won the Quidditch Cup, Salazar? I will not dignify that with an answer, Godric. Oh, listen to all of us quarrelling. Our guests must think us most ungracious folks. Good. Then maybe they'll leave. If Dumbledore think it right and proper that they be here, then they are more than welcome. Besides, perhaps one of our younger guests will wake for an owl one morning and find themselves summoned to Hogwarts. Yes, just think, the next great witch or wizard could be walking through this room right now, unaware of their hidden talents. Just like Harry Potter. Potter! The boy who lived. The boy who survived by the seat of his pants is more like it. Ah, but you are wrong, Salazar. It was love that saved young Harry, not love. Something to remember. <laughs> Oh, I should warn you, things can be a little unpredictable. During your visit, you may encounter all manner of things not common to your own world. Ghosts, hot elves, giants, and apparently, as of this morning, a dragon. But I sense a bit of apprehension in the room. Perhaps you fear meeting you know who. Well, a piece of advice, if I may. Fear of a name only increases the fear of the thing itself. Voldemort is only as powerful as we make him. And remember, inevitably there comes a moment where we must make a choice between what is right and what is easy. The choice we make defines us. When in doubt, Follow your heart. It will, in my experience, rarely lead you wrong. Now, if you will, please proceed to the defense against the dark arts transfer. Unfortunately, we're currently without a defense against the dark arts teacher. They tend not to last too long, I'm afraid. Therefore, Professor Binns, our esteemed history of magic professor, will present his thorough and exhaustive lecture entitled Hogwarts Through the Centuries. I am most certain you will find it long. 
Enjoy the remainder of your stay with us. Oh, and should you catch sight of that drag, please take notice. Promise to me by general consent is the definitive problem of Hogwarts. Most of us feel dead boring, as is Professor Bates, very boring. I'm exceptionally dead. He's a ghost. Fell asleep in front of a classroom fire. Muck at the next day to teach and left his body behind. He's still very sad on history, though. And as an added bonus, he can enter the classroom through the blackboard. Anyway, we thought you might rather watch the game of Quidditch than listen to Ben's, but we'll have to sneak you out of the castle and down to the pitch, and we reckon the best way of doing that was to fly you there. All you have to do is follow me to the room of requirement, and I'll manage it from there. Of course, we'll need a bit of magic. A charm I learned from a world-class Quidditch player. I might need famous for a charm. Yes. Yes. Miss for Canto. I was just about to do that. Remember, meet Hermione in the room of requirement. See? That wasn't so bad, was it, Ron? Not as bad as being this to with you. Keep your voices down. Don't you hear us? Stop making all the noise. Thanks!
An enchanted bent flies like a dragon with a fire rope tied to its tail. In fact, the last time I raced one, it caught fire. Oh! That's hardly like it happened to them. No beginners. When boarding, it's always polite to ask leave. Party where they like to sit. I remember the day I took a party of the ladies for a spin over the Himalayas. Wow. I knew where they landed, right and it brought them back to me. Everything you need to know about your charming bitch. The accident is just ahead. 